again everyone welcome back to guitar everyone channel my name is Darren today we're going to learn how to play jolly old Saint Nicholas but we're not going to play it uh, just ordinarily we're going to play it in a Chet Atkins fingerstall and uh, for anybody that's not familiar with fingerstall this may not be uh, an easy lesson for you because I'm not really breaking down every note in detail it's more or less getting acquainted with uh, how fingerstyle works, how to get that Chet Atkins type sound, and uh, how to produce the melody and to get that you know the right hand alternating bass line going, and getting really familiar with that. So, if you'd like to see that in future lessons, just the basics, uh, please comment, and we can do that uh, because you know fingerstyle this type this style is it, it could be tough getting used to. Because uh, there's, there's two things going on. I mean, you have the alternating bass line plus the melodies. So you got right hand's got a big task as well as the left hand. So, so let me know. And, uh, you know, as they say, you, you know, you can't run before you can walk. Well, you know, you can't, you know, walk before you can crawl. And pretty much that's the way fingerstyle is. You have to get really used to the basics before you can, you know, really get going with it. But uh, you can get the basics of it. If you practice, you know, I think fairly easy. And, uh, you know, I mean, to be a, a great accomplished fingerstyle player, you know, takes quite a bit of practice. And I'll confess I'm not that. I'm anything but a great fingerstyle player. You know, I, I, I do the basics and I, I love the style. And, uh, you know, if you want to listen to superb players, I mean, listen to, of course, Chet Atkins. And, you know, uh, Doyle Dykes, uh, Tommy Emanuel. Uh, Thom Brish, Steve Warner, those guys are phenomenal. Uh, Richard Smith. But uh, this, you know, I'm basically showing you today how I play this. I, I did a really basic melody for the tune. I didn't get too fancy or nothing on it, and I slowed it down for you. So uh, this is probably a lesson that people that play fingerstyle, like if you're playing like James Taylor songs or, you know, uh, you, you're used to playing with your fingers. Uh, you may adapt to playing, uh, you know, the Chet Atkins style a little easier because uh, you're muting the strings with the palm and, and playing an alternating bass line with the melody. So it may come a bit easier than if you're just, you know, uh, a straight, you know, flat pick player or, you know, you, rock and roll or whatever. I mean, it's it's a different style. So, so before we get into the lesson, uh, for those who haven't subscribed, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'd be truly appreciate it. And thanks so much for those that have subscribed. Okay, so we'll move on to our lesson. Okay, welcome back to our lesson. And uh, to do this uh, song, we're in C chord in A440, standard tuning. And for anybody that hasn't played fingerstyle before, it, uh, it's, it's tough to get into. You have to get used to a pattern, especially uh, when we're dealing with muted strings. So basically, for example, if we're playing a C chord, we're alternating between. And getting used to that takes quite a while once you start bringing in the other strings, you know, like the strings that you're producing the melody on. Now, I'm getting into it uh, by doing, uh, you know, a description of, of how I'm playing the song, but if you find it really difficult, uh, send some comments on the video, and we can back up to, you know, very basics of fingerstyle, where we're getting used to this, cause, because when I started playing fingerstyle, uh, before I got into any of this Chet Atkins stuff, uh, I just got comfortable with my fingers on the strings, so... And I started playing chords with alternating bass lines on muted, like... And just get used to your fingers under the strings and how they feel. And, you know, getting familiar with... the positioning of your hand. And I kept doing this. And then I'll... Then I would change to, for example, a G, and then an F. I get used to this pattern. E. The more comfortable you get with this hand, 
uh, you know, the easier it's going to be for this hand to do what it needs to do. So, so let me know in the comments if you like to back up uh, to the very basics to get, you know, to get more comfortable with fingerstyle. This lesson's more for a person who, you know, is kind of used to playing rhythm, fingerstyle type songs, and not necessarily Chet Atkins. But you know, just getting for people that can to use their fingers. So anyway, let's get into the lesson. So we're in C, and I'm starting this song by just doing the regular, you know. And again, I'm muting the strings down here, but not where you know you got to make sure you're in the proper position. If you're up here, you're not going to get anything. So you're not going to hear the note ringing. You need to mute the strings, but still hear the note come through. And that's just a simple rest, you know, of the hands on, on the right hand on the bridge. So I start off with just a regular C and... So what I'm doing there, I'm using my index finger to hit the third string, okay, and my middle finger to hit the first string. And that's the, that's the, how the melody starts. Again, remember this alternating. And then come, come in with the second string. So this is what I'm doing without the bass. That's kind of a roll. So let's try that now from the top. Again, you're oh, you know, you're rocking back and forth, alternating. Then I'm doing an E7. Okay. And pick you down on the on the third fret on the second string. And from there I'm going to A minor. Here comes the A minor. So and then a C7. Again, by hitting the third string and the first string. Third string with the index, first string with the middle finger. So. From there I'm going to F. So let's go into F. Now I'm not doing this because unless you get used to using your thumb here, you could, but but I think it's better to get used to doing this because there's a lot of positions you play in finger style where you really can't use a bar chord. Your thumb has to, you have to have your thumb up here. And sometimes for me, I, I relatively, you know, I have small hands. Sometimes I have to block this two strings at once with one finger, so. Sometimes I have to do that because physically for me it's harder to do. So let's start from the top. Back to E7. Okay, so I'm doing an F chord. I'm not, hit, I'm not hitting the string unless I want to go back to it. So I'm going to F chord using the thumb up here. Then back 
to see. Whatever, like you can roll it. And then I'm doing this C position, I'm moving it down to, and then using C7 position, sorry. But now it's, this part is a little tougher. So you have to hold this position, and then hit the first string open. Okay. And then G, or you can have it up here, which is a G7. More open, Chet used that a lot. Well, I do that a lot, but I didn't do it in the video, but, which is a G7. I like that chord, but again, in, in the beginning of the lesson, I just did a straight G for people that's trying to get into the style easier, so. Again. And then back to C. Okay, so it's like going back and forth between the on the second string and to the first and third, a third to first. I'll do the whole tune now. Let's back up so you can see my both hands. slower if possible it's hard it's hard to do but those things kind of roll off your fingers and when you're overthinking it then you tend to make a lot of mistakes so And again, that little run up, but it was just, you know, an F chord. I just, I have it, I hold a F position, but you don't need to here, but. But I like to always be in the, the chord position. Again, using the thumb for F. Okay, so again, importantly, get used to playing chords, uh, F, E, you know, all your major, any chord. familiar with those fingers coming in contact with the strings get used to your instrument and how the strings feel and you know get get used to identifying which finger is doing what on, on what string so 
And so instead of trying, and I'm not saying this is a bad thing because the Greek Merle Travis used one finger most, most of the time, but, but try to, try to use more than one finger. You know, if you use the three of them, would be great. But that's the important thing. If you want to learn fingerstyle, is get really used to what this hand can do on the strings. The melody, you learn, it'll come easier. It'll be more like, you know, getting used to riding a bike. You know, just get it. Okay. Thank you. 